when it first came out, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, the original Crow was with Brandon Lee. And he was talking to this he woman. He died, right? Yeah, yeah he that. got shot. Yeah, they took him out. But he was talking mm-hmm. to this woman who was taking drugs. And she had left her child. She was abandoning her child. The father had died or something like that. And he left. I think he was killed. And she was out there on drugs. And and the child was raising herself. I think she was a nine-year-old raising herself. She, he grabbed over the woman, and I'm only paraphrasing here. He said something like, um, mother is the name of God to a newborn child. That line alone tells you what it is that you do to build a human being, not just a social security number, not just somebody that you give off to somebody else to raise, you don't give your child to someone else so that they pour that some bullshit into their head. <clears throat> there was another movie that we saw called Apocalypse Now, where Marlon Brando yeah. said when they came in there to vaccinate the children, they said they vaccinated the children, and when they looked back, <clears throat> they looked back as they were leaving. All the people in the in the um, in the in the um, in the village, chopped off the arm of the of each of the children that were vaccinated. Where they were vaccinated, and he said that kind of commitment changed him forever. Mm. So there is no commitment to being who you are anymore. You are no longer a human being because the mother principle which is supposed to nurture the human, to give that child humanity, to give it a sense of itself, the kind of unconditional love that usually nurtures the potential of someone until they can get old enough to the age of reason where they reach the conditional love of the father. The mother is the unconditional love. The father is the conditional love. He sets the boundaries of behavior, and he is the first authority that shows you about how far you can go. Now that has been taken over and only the women now is the one giving that kind of authority because they have been given this kind of work. I mean, they've been forced into this labor camp called the single family household. That is a forced labor camp. That is a Survival unit, that's not what, women can't function like true women in a situation like that. It's madness. And I'm talking to brothers now, and the sisters are saying to them, I heard, the sisters are saying to them, I'm tired. I can't do this by myself anymore. That's right. So of listen, course you we get with the brothers, brothers right? So they're not, and you get with the brothers, so you're not necessarily single anymore, but guess what? You still going out to a di- now the sisters you they get with the brothers they commute to the labor camp because the brothers allow them to uh, be underneath the labor camp slash plantation of these other folks because they go work from you know Mike John and Harry. Mm-hmm. Well, again, everything because from now on, the, any kind of that that structure. Well, all actions right now inside of this dysfunctional society is dysfunctional action. Let's not let's not fool ourselves. There's no way for us to have sane actions in an insane society. So if if, if all of our actions are based upon insanity because of what we are raised in, it's in the Kool-Aid, like they said. Everybody's drinking from the Kool-Aid. So if they are, then everybody's drunk on what the Kool-Aid has inside of what is is the content of the Kool-Aid. And so here we are in this society, and the men are looking at the women. Right, the men are looking at the women, and the women are looking at the men and saying, y'all crazy. Well, yeah. We're both crazy. We're both insane. And we don't want to stop being insane because it's all that we've been given and all we've been made to believe there is. We're not the enemies of each other. We've been made to believe we're the enemy. Whew. 
You, um, let me see. Thought we had another question. I guess she hung up. <laughs> God, God damn. All right, Darnell still holding on. Darnell, you have a question? Yeah, I do. Hello? Yes? Peace, 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 uh, Brother Phil Valentine and the rest of the family. No tip. No tip. Um, I have actually two questions. One, with the event that you have in um, this Sunday, will it be uh, filmed or, like, you know, just in case if uh, people can't make it, like, such as myself, like, if I want to. I'm, I'm definitely, I definitely need to uh, hear you out with, with that. Well, yeah, I'm, well, I'll tell you, we probably will have the, um, we will have that, you know, we're going to be filming. Okay. Uh, but when we're going to release it, that's going to be the good part of it because um, King Simon and I have now, we're trying to keep control of my intellectual capital. Okay, absolutely. Um, uh, it's, so it's very difficult right now uh, because uh, <laughs> I'm not yeah, you being, mean, I'm, I'm not being, yeah, yeah. There's no, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't hating, I'm not mad, but I've been paying everybody else's rent for too long, my intellectual capital, you know. So uh, we're going to try to see if we could function so that, you know, some of the, get this into a download situation where we can download it. Uh, it's going to be pretty long, so we're going to have to see how, how to be able to do this. All right, no problem. And two, um, the reason why it's... Um, Highly for me to definitely hear, hear you out is because what you is going to speak on, um, I currently just went through and um, uh, I can hear literally um, signals being transmitted from the uh, Empire State Building um, trying to uh, manipulate my mind. Um, literally, just to put that out there. Well, um, yeah, the more and more sensitized we become, um, those of us who are now looking at what we are thinking about instead of just automatically reacting to our thoughts, remember I keep telling everybody, are you thinking your thoughts or are your thoughts thinking you? What I mean by that is that they have a way now to quantumize the, and digitalize the signature patterns of thought and to, put in, to make a catalog of different thoughts, thoughts of anger, thoughts of hatred, thoughts of murder, thoughts of different types of attitudes and emotions that create chemical signatures. These chemical signatures have electrical prints. These electrical prints are digitalized, and you could take that digitalized print of anger and murder and transpose it as an electrical quantum signal onto someone else and make them do things that they didn't think they could ever do. Um, I was just going, I, I was, I, uh, this week, I just, real quick, I want to shout and uh, Dr. Phil, um, I want to speak too much, because right now, um, you know, I'm in, I'm in the listening and some less talking stage in my life. Uh, and, but I just came back from Florida. I was down there in Miami. Um, and I had to leave immediately. I was supposed to be down there for two weeks on vacation, go figure. And I I had a conversation with the devil himself. And I don't know what the hell that was about. I don't know what occurred, but I seen flashes in the sky. And some stuff was taking over me, you know what I'm saying? And I almost caught two bodies and self in self defense of course, you know what I'm saying, because I felt a sense of fear or a sense of threat and I thought I thought the zombies was, I thought uh, you know, it was going it was about to go down with, with some zombie attack. So, you know, I stopped to, you know, I grabbed two knives to, you know, just protect myself to see what that was about to go on. And sure enough, you know, I don't know what the hell but it was some demonic spirits around me 
and, you know, two people with this, you know, with real clothes, to, you know, be, being out, out this world. Because I want you, I'm going to get you before you get me, you know, know that. And, you know, <laughs> luckily I didn't. Um, luckily I didn't. Well, put it, long story short, I had a fight on Mount Pioneer. Whatever that biblical story, how it goes, the angel, that literally occurred in Miami. And um, I was in the hospital because the cops came, although nothing happened. But it, was, it was real funny. It was real funny business. And I was not getting, I did not get arrested, but yet the cops took me to the hospital to try to evaluate me as if I was insane or something when I was perfectly sane and I knew exactly what the hell happened to the point where um, they didn't want to let me out the hospital. They almost, they almost Michael Jackson. They almost Michael Jackson me. And I was real close. But the, I tell you what, I did not leave that hospital without the devil taking my blood. He took, I think, four or five vials of my blood before he released me. And I got, as soon as I got out the hospital, I took a taxi immediately back to Miami Airport. And I did not leave until I got my ticket uh, back to New Jersey where my family was at. <clears throat> what a story. It's more, I mean, it's real interesting. But it, it was crazy because things was happening before that. And it started last week. And, uh, no, about two weeks ago. And like I said, I've been, I've been, I, 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 I can, I was hearing frequencies literally um, being, uh, you know, I, I knew they were coming from the Empire State Hall because that was the only strongest power in the Christ State where I'm, I'm right there across the water from New York. And I can, I literally heard, like, these. Well, Donna, I, mean, I, really I really hope you mean, take advantage of this event um, and him being up here and so close, you know. And for everybody who's uh, listening, if you're just tuning in, he will be at the National Black Theater in Harlem this Sunday. That's at 2033 5th Avenue, um, 125th and 126th Street, Harlem, New York. All right, he's talking about how to recognize mind control methods. Queen of Pool will be opening up. He's got a whole hour presentation on healing the family after divorce healing the family after breakup, because a lot of us are in relationships with men and women. Children are involved, all right? So we definitely need to be in the building for this one. For ticket information, 347-496-1022. You can also use that number for vending, all right? You can pick your tickets up at Nicholas Brooklyn or at Nicholas Harlem. This is a King Kleiman production. I want to thank you again for sharing your story, Brother Darnell. We gotta keep it moving. Thank you. You're welcome. Woo. Can we take another caller, um, Baba? By all means. All right, Moonstone, shout out, Whoop. You're on there. Hey, what's going? On? All right. I first and foremost want to thank you, uh, Dr. Valentine, for your unwavering commitment to to your work and so many brilliant videos, and I'm glad for you the elders such as yourself who decide to stand up when others want to be on their knees and pray. Most um, welcome. Thank you. I also want I, I concur with 100% of what you're saying. We need to look at they're shutting down different schools. <clears throat> so that puts the woman in another position because now, you know, the child is at, you know, they're, you know, just gathering all these children in one space and, you know, it's 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 just it's basically going to be a war zone, and when yes, a lot so of they, they shut down uh, schools, but they sure are building up more prisons. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, so it's uh, it's you know, it, and when those different resources and different mm -hmm. cushions run out, you know, then people are going to want to you know rally and ally. But you know, you know from tactics that you know it's about preparation, you know, and then making your preemptive strike. I mean, not your preemptive strike, but, you know, your planning and then making your attack you know, or having your defense. So just having us on the line where, you know, okay, we'll just see how bad it gets until, you know, we can't do anything else. It's definitely about, uh, you know, planning and reuniting. And I'm glad you brought that point up. You know, it's interesting uh, you said that, brother, because Brother King Simon reminded me of something 